Inspiration replication, David, that's what I want to talk about. Uh, I was so excited when Obama was running for president and his enthusiasm, his vision, this sense of hope that he awoke in everyone, this vision about what this country could be and about what we could be as individuals and communities was profoundly exciting. And for any leader of a company or leader of a country, one of the things that happens is there's this profound pressure of feeling that in that spot you need to have the answers, you need to be the one that's providing whatever needs to be provided. And the bottom line is we have a country of people who can provide this and we have the tools and technology for this administration to shine a light on all of these people and places where these things are happening. We have technologies like YouTube and we have projects like Sustainable South Bronx with Majora Carter. We have opportunities for videos and short three-minute pieces of all the phenomenal projects that are going on in this country where communities are coming together for service days and volunteerism, where green projects <coughs> and sustainable projects in cities are happening where new technologies are being developed. And this is the kind of thing that is profoundly uplifting for people to see. If there was a way between what Anil Dash is doing with his Experts Lab project, with what Andrew McLaughlin is doing in technology, and with the phenomenal generation of people ready to serve and help who really know technology to help create an infrastructure to begin to shine a light on where things are working in this country because happiness feeds happiness and despair feeds despair and misery, I don't even want to go there, but hope feeds hope, happiness feeds happiness and we are desperate I think as a country for something that would involve what I call inspiration replication. So if it's not coming from our government yet, why shouldn't this or should it uh, come from us as citizens? Isn't this something that, that we can do? We're already posting the stuff on YouTube, for example. Citizens with government, make it a partnership. Do it out of experts, do it out of the expert lab project that Anil is doing, but make it a partnership. Show that we are really all connected. Uh, do you have ideas about what that might look like? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Um, one idea is for the day of service that was started and then seemed to dissipate. What if we had a structure for a national day of service? And maybe the day of service was monthly or maybe it was just quarterly. And maybe there were um, particular activities in cities where after a day of service people would get together in a town hall like setting and different groups, restaurants, whatever, would donate food to feed them and people would talk and be interviewed about the things that they had done during that day and the different agencies being served would stand up and say thank you, not to ask for more, but just to say thank you and to talk about what that agency provided so that people were more aware of and uh, closer as a community. So just take that as an example. Um, would you feel more hopeful, better, uh, if th that came bottom up or if that came top down? I want, what, it, I want it both ways. I want it both ways and why can't I have it both ways, honestly? I mean, on the one hand, the leadership, I mean, it's like you're in a company. The CEO says, we're going to go this way. And I mean, let's go back to Bill Gates writing the internet sea change memo. It, CEO says, we're gonna go this way, and then every organization shows how they can go that way. So the leadership provides the inspiration and the community provides the visibility for what that inspiration is seeding and what's out there that can seed more inspiration, feeds those stories back up, and we have a set of stories that help us become better people, better communities, and a better country. 